The first women's rights convention in the United States was held in 1848 in Seneca Falls, New York. It was organized by Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Lucretia Mott. Interestingly, both of these women were in close contact with Iroquois women. The Iroquois have historically been and continue to be a matriarchal society. Stanton and Mott, in their co-mingling with Iroquois women, witnessed a real-life example of a fully functioning, gender-balanced society where women had the power to appoint and dismiss leaders. This in turn gave Stanton and Mott the confidence to seek similar empowerment for American women, including suffrage or the right to vote. Another prominent suffragist who had close ties to Iroquois women was Matilda Jocelyn Gage. In fact, she was granted an honorary adoption into the Wolf Clan of the Mohawk Nation in 1893. This honor gave her a voice in naming a chief. Ironically, that same year, Gage was arrested for the civil disobedience of voting in a school board election in Onondaga County, New York. This allegorical painting depicts these three prominent suffragists forging a thunderbolt. Elizabeth Cady Stanton worked closely with Susan B. Anthony for decades in the effort to advance women's rights. Stanton once famously said of her high-profile relationship with Anthony, I forged the thunderbolts and she fired them.